Welcome back. Painters, woodworkers, beekeepers, and more. After a two-year hiatus, Indiana's premier artisan event is back. So, where's Sherman? Behind he, you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Can't <laughs> Can't take miss that. It. He has nice teeth. Anyway, he's at the State Fairgrounds with a big old preview of this year's Indiana Artisan Market. Indiana State Fairgrounds, Ag Hort Building. Look at this beautiful piece. Oh, my goodness. A little gorgeous silk necklace. Okay, where am I? We're here for the Indiana Artisan Marketplace. It's getting set up for tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 6 on Saturday, 10 to 5 on Sunday. $10 gets you in. Here's the deal. There's about 80 different uh, artisans from around the state. There's, uh, let's see, potters, jewelry makers. Um, we have barbecue sauce, wine, beer, you name it, all from Indiana artisans. Um, 14 and under are free. It's the first time they've had this since 2019, so welcome back. All right, where are we right now? Carrie Wright Silk Gifts. And Gallery. And Gallery. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Hi Sherman. Thanks for coming today. Good to see you. It's good to see you, too. I love your work. Thank you so I much. I mean, it's so big. This necklace I have on is an example of a lot of things that you do. I do a lot of different things. I try to have something for everyone because I think you would agree, Sherman, when you surround yourself with beautiful things, you feel better. So I encourage everybody to come out this weekend because I promise you one thing for sure, you will leave more joyful than you arrive. See, I love how you put that because I love beautiful things. And speaking of, you've got robes, pillows. There are some wristlets on the plate there. I make silk painted night lights, which are LED. Um, beautiful boudoir robes, wrap skirts, scarves, and then, of course, the tassel that you're wearing and all of the framed artwork. And you, and you do framed artwork as well. Yes, I do. And I make my own frames and carefully hand stitch the silk to watercolor paper so that it can be mounted and framed properly in a Carefully an stitched. Way. I love how you put that because everything is so meticulously and beautifully done with her. I'm serious, it's fantastic. Now, the, okay, yeah. so this technique, what's up? So this is called silk painting, and really it's a lot like watercolor, Sherman, and the only difference between me painting is that I'm using silk as a substrate instead of paper or okay. canvas. So this is dye, and I use a watercolor brush. This is just a mop, a little squirrel hair mop brush. And I have resist on the silk already. That's the black marks that you see, and you might guess from the black that I'm going to be painting poppies. And you can see that the dye spreads up to the line where the resist is, which is the point of using a resist. Now, so does all the silk pieces start out white canvas Everything like that? Everything starts white, Sherman. What? So it's just a blank canvas. Every time I go into paint, I kind of decide ahead of time usually oh my what God. do I have in mind and it's, then I start playing with color fantastic. Um, we'll Come just kind of let that go and you can see that uh, here I it is custom mix all of my colors so oh, this wow. is this is just a little a little tester, sample a little sample all right you got to come see her Carrie Wright Carrie Wright Silk Indiana Artists and Marketplace uh, right here, Ag Hort Building, Indiana State Fairgrounds, tomorrow from 10 to 6. Beautiful stuff, really. Thank you, Come Sherman. see it. Yes. 